It's quite reasonable to call this program a choral and organ spectacular because it really is. This is one of the largest pieces ever written, uh, incorporating innumerable voices, multiple choirs, and of course our wonderful organ here at the Jacobs Music Center. Hector Berlioz was already famous for producing monumental pieces of music that required larger forces than any of his contemporaries. He himself even admitted that in the case of his Te Deum, which is a Christian hymn of praise, he had gone overboard. He wanted a cast of thousands, multiple choruses, including a children's chorus he had heard earlier in the year. In all, he was hoping to have well over a thousand performers. Uh, he didn't quite achieve that. The premiere had 950 uh, performers. And then, a few months later, they did it again, just part of the piece, this time with 1,500 performers. And he kept all of those players together by use of a metronome, an electronic device invented for that performance in 1855, whereby Berlioz's beat at the podium could be transmitted electronically to five other conductors in different areas of the hall to keep all of the forces exactly together. It was a huge, huge production. On the first half of the program, we have the Brahms double concerto, uh, concerto for violin and cello, with the great American cellist Alyssa Weilerstein coming and joining our own concertmaster Jeff Thayer for that performance. This was Brahms' last big orchestral work. He wrote it really as a way to reconcile with one of his longtime friends, one of his oldest friends, a violinist, Josef Joachim. They had had a falling out just a few years before. And Brahms wrote this piece for two instruments, thinking that if he offered it to Joachim, as he had offered so many of his other works, uh, Joachim would have a difficult time declining because there was also a cello part. And Joachim could therefore work with one of his close friends, the cellist in his quartet, together. And that once they began working on the piece, uh, he and Brahms uh, would begin speaking again, which is exactly what happened. It's a driving uh, work, uh, as is usual with Brahms. The orchestra plays a huge role along with the two soloists out front. It really is a symphony with solo violin and solo cello. So this is a giant evening of music here at the Jacobs. <laughs> 